So this is a quick response video to a comment I received on YouTube about whether or not you could use a three and a half inch desktop drive on an Xbox One in place of a two and a half inch laptop drive. So I thought it'd be interesting to actually try it out to see if you actually can. And the biggest question of course is whether or not there'll be enough power provided to the three and a half inch drive. The uh, power connector on the Xbox One for the hard drive does have four, let's see this, it's got a mental place, it does have four pins, and even though it's a five pin connector, one of the pins is missing, it's not on the motherboard either, but all the, the wires themselves are different colors, indicating they're probably different values, so usually black is ground, and then somewhere here you have a three and a half, uh, a 3.3 volt, a five volt, and a 12 volt connection, I'm not exactly sure the order there. Uh, a little color coding but um, so we'll give this a try anyways so right now you can see this is a two terabyte drive uh, this, shows you, this is also two terabyte there and I cloned it over to this four terabyte desktop drive uh, that's the next video I'm gonna do is people are always asking if they can use a drive larger than two terabytes and I'll show you here you can uh, but it has to be formatted as two terabyte uh, but uh, the other video will cover that. One other interesting thing I wanted to point out is that uh, even though this drive measures out to uh, slightly larger than two and a half inches, but works out to about two and a half inches, whereas the desktop drive itself is more like four inches rather than two and a half inches. And that's because this drive is actually based on the idea that it fits in a three and a half inch floppy drive slot. So if you look at the uh, a floppy here you can see that it's about three and a half inches across so this hard drive is made to fit in a three and a half inch floppy drive slot but is it necessarily three and a half inches itself it's kind of interesting i thought that was kind of interesting anyway so here we go so let's shut this down and uh, just so you can see that i'm doing this for real let's see here you can see so i'm actually shutting down there And I haven't actually tested this. All I did was clone the two and a half to the three and a half inch drive only uh, a couple hours ago. So we'll disconnect this and get this drive connected in. So the uh, connection itself is fine. I assume this will work only because if um, Microsoft is trying to keep it as a standard SATA connector, it needs to provide the proper voltages as well. Alright, so there we go. So, uh, as you can see, this is very practical, but should work in theory. All right, so let's uh, let's give it a try. Let's boot it up. Get more of an angle here. Let's see here if it comes up. Okay, interesting. So it looks like it's uh, a three and a half inch floppy. Uh, three and a half inch floppy. A three and a half inch hard drive will not work in the Xbox One. I'm a little surprised by that. But the next thing to do will be to test the voltages on the SATA connector and see if there's this no 12 volt provided. It appears there isn't. Let's see if you can hear the hard drive at all. The problem is that fan is so loud. What I might do is uh, try one more time. The fan is connected so we can actually hear if the hard drive is spinning.
much of it all. this on again without the fan and let's see if I can hear anything yeah doesn't appear the drive is spinning up at all okay so next thing I'll do is just check the voltages on the uh, basically on this here okay so let's test the voltages on the hard drive line so I have the system booted, but uh, no hard drive attached, as you can see. And that's strictly so we can test the voltages here. So let's give it a try. So I'll put the ground on uh, one of these EV ports here. And the first cable we're gonna test is the first pin. Let's see if there's actually a list of the pin order. Doesn't look that way. But we're gonna test basically the um, We're going to test blue, then red, then yellow, then black. So first we'll check the voltages of the blue pin. And it looks like the blue pin is 5 volts. We'll test the next pin in from there. Second pin is also 5 volts, and that's the red line. So let's do the third pin in, which is yellow. So I'm guessing the third pin, which is yellow, is actually ground. And the fourth pin, which is black, seems to also be ground. Just going through the pins again. So blue, 5 volts. Red, 5 volts. Yellow, ground, black ground. So there you have it. So that's why the Xbox One does not support a three and a half inch desktop drive because it doesn't provide 12 volts, which is required to run one of these drives. I think somewhere on here it might say the voltage requirements. Might not. Oh, yep. Here we go right here. So it requires five and 12. We take a look at the laptop drive here. It only lists five volts. So there you go. There's your answer.